In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Let us pray. Set aside, O Lord, the bond of sentence written for us by the law of sin, which in the Paschal mystery you cancelled through the resurrection of Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles About this time, when the number of disciples was increasing, the Hellenists made a complaint against the Hebrews. In the daily distribution, their own widows were being overlooked. So the Twelve called a full meeting of the disciples and addressed them. It would not be right for us to neglect the word of God so as to give out food. You brothers must select from among yourselves seven men of good reputation, filled with the Spirit and with wisdom. We will hand over this duty to them and continue to devote ourselves to prayer and to the service of the word. The whole assembly approved of this proposal and elected Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, together with Philip, Prochorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmenos, and Nicholas of Antioch, a convert to Judaism. They presented these to the apostles, who prayed and laid their hands on them. The word of the Lord continued to spread. The number of disciples in Jerusalem was greatly increased, and a large group of priests made their submission to the faith. The Word of the Lord May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Ring out your joy to the Lord, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks to the Lord upon the harp, with a ten-stringed lute, sing him songs. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. For the word of the Lord is faithful, and all his works to be trusted. The Lord loves justice and right, and fills the earth with his love. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. The Lord looks on those who revere him, on those who hope in his love, to rescue their souls from death, to keep them alive in famine. May your love be upon us, O Lord, as we place all our hope in you. Alleluia, alleluia! Christ, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power over him any more. Alleluia! The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. In the evening, the disciples went down to the shore of the lake and got into a boat to make for Capernaum. On the other side of the lake, it was getting dark by now and Jesus had still not rejoined them. The wind was strong, and the sea was getting rough. They had rowed three or four miles when they saw Jesus 
walking on the lake and coming towards the boat. This frightened them, but he said, It is I, do not be afraid. They were for taking him into the boat, but in no time it reached the shore at the place they were making for. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As he comes walking on the water, Jesus says, It is I, do not be afraid. How often the Lord tells his people, Do not be afraid, I am always with you. In the Bible, we hear that message from God. Fear not, I am with you. I, the Lord, will rescue you. Do not be afraid. It is the Lord. In the life of Jesus, the Lord can be recognized by these words. Gabriel said to Mary, Fear not, Mary. You have found favor with God. The angel says to Joseph, Joseph, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife. You can trust my word that Mary has conceived by the Holy Spirit. When the shepherds came to adore the newborn Son of God, they probably tell Mary and Joseph what the angel said to them. When they quote those familiar words of the angel, do not be afraid. Mary and Joseph nod knowingly. Yes, that was the Lord speaking. He always begins that way. How often the Lord needs to remind us. Do not be afraid. Trust me. Does anyone on the whole earth love you more than the Lord does? According to Isaiah, chapter 49, verse 14 to 16, the people of Jerusalem said, The Lord has forgotten us. The Lord answers, Can a woman forget her own baby and not love the child she bore? Even if a mother would forget her child, I will never forget you. I have written your names in the palms of my hands. What a tender picture of God's unfailing love. How little we trust in him. Matthew and Mark, speaking of this same nighttime scene on the water, tell us how impressed Peter was at seeing Jesus 
walk over the water in the storm. So Peter calls to Jesus. Me too, Lord. Jesus agrees. Yes, you too, Peter. But seeing the waves and feeling the wind, Peter seized with fear. Lord, save me. And Jesus said to Peter what he says to us. What? Still so little faith? Why do you doubt me? Today, Jesus is saying to each of us, Do not be afraid. Let me come into your boat, and I will come the waters of your mind and heart. Trust me. You are not alone. You are never alone. I am always with you. Will we invite Jesus into the boat of our lives? It is our choice. Let us ask the Lord to increase our faith so as to decrease our fears. Help us to know that you are with us in all the storms of our life. God bless you. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do, in memory of him, may bring us growth in charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful day, take care, and God bless you.